hello loves so we got home from a holiday last night holiday was the best thing ever i'm so gutted that we're not there anymore but you know the weather's quite nice here at the moment and i've filled my day my first day back with something exciting and fun i've got up early but outside hobbycraft and we're about to go in there to do a little shop because when we move down south to our new house i'm hoping praying that we move in before halloween because we're wanting to throw halloween a halloween bash and our housewarming bash all in one go we've invited loads of our friends already so i'm going to go in and do a massive shop and see what we can buy i really want to go all out i want to go like you know halloween movies where like that one mum just like overdoes it i want that to be me on our new estate that's what I, I want it to be me i am the person that dresses the house for every season there's a wreath on the door for every single situation um but i'm obviously just gonna try and like spend as little as possible i'm gonna try and be as frugal as possible and i know that i can make a lot of stuff myself and i've already got some ideas of some stuff that i'm gonna make myself so um we're gonna head into hobby craft and see what we can find and um hopefully we come back with a nice size little box of goodies that have been a really affordable treat for for us so let's head into store now game here it's three pounds and it's a pin the face on the skeleton it's given me some inspiration to do a diy i've got like a table runner which is like a spider web mainly like kids decorations you know like um face stickers and stuff this is what i'm actually after so i'm going to pick up a couple of these led lights my god that was so rubbish i've come out with the smallest little bag of stuff i have picked up more but i ended up thinking that i'm just picking this up just to try and like have a lot of stuff to come out with because i honestly had such high hopes i didn't go upstairs but i really doubt there was a lot of stuff upstairs so what i think i'm going to do instead i'm going to um go back online and order a bunch of stuff to go to my mum and dad's house or if they do next day's delivery i'll get it delivered to our house but oh that was so annoying right the things that i did get i picked up one of these which is a spider web with spiders i'm hoping that this is going to be quite big and you can stretch it out quite far because if it is i'll go back and get a couple more of these this was three pounds these led lights so this is one it's pink and it's got bats on and then this is another one which is a pumpkin with a green top and a yellow orangey base i think they'll look nice on the table with all of the like treats and like all of the cocktails that we're going to do if we have like a couple of them on and then i bought a bunch of these at the till they had loads and loads of tea lights I've got the caution and keep out tape as well which it doesn't say how long these go but it does feel like they there is quite a big thick pad in there um I, i'm a bit disappointed but i'll tell you one thing that was good coming out of that shop is it did give me a lot of inspiration so i feel like i was looking at stuff and thinking i could buy that or i could make it <laughs> clearing out the house ready for the house move i've got a lot of things that i was going to um like get rid of because we didn't necessarily need them but i was looking back and thinking actually i might be able to repurpose it so i think we're gonna have to get crafty which i'm not mad at at all Rob and I decided to get out of the house today because I had a bit of a like stuffy head. I don't know if you ever get this where, oh, I just dropped my bottle. I don't know if you ever get this where like you've been in the house and it's really stuffy and warm and like you just need to get out and get some fresh air. So we've come to the seafront. One of the last times we're going to be on the seafront before we move. 
and we're gonna go and get a fish and chips. So, show you our favorite fish and chips place on the seafront, which is called Fisherman's Bay. Unreal. Yeah. So this is the um, place that we go to, Fisherman's Bay, and this is it across the way in Whitley Bay. If you ever come and tap dirt as well, I've actually never been, but it's got really good reviews. This is our favorite fish and chips in the world, isn't it? We always get a Sherzy's regular cod chips. Also scraps today as well, so I'm just fancying them. And then we've got curry sauce. But I was saying to Rob that I actually could have done uh, gravy today. I love a bit of gravy. Lots of salt and vinegar, the best. By the way, this curry sauce, I don't know if you can tell by the colour, but it's not like a typical chip shop curry sauce. This is the best one you'll ever, ever taste. So definitely, definitely mm. try Fisherman's Bay if you haven't already. I've been packing at the dining room for the last probably two hours, I would say. It's been very therapeutic, actually. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I had packed a lot of the stuff in there a few months ago now when we thought we were going to have to move, probably about six weeks ago. But I did have to repack some things because we've been in and out of the boxes because we didn't move as quickly. We've had to get some stuff from the boxes and stuff. And because I hadn't sealed the top of them, they didn't really have a lot of structure. So some of them have kind of collapsed on themselves got a little bit weaker so I've basically started to pack them with the intention of never opening them again. We've got loads and loads of boxes in the corner as you can see we've got one main layer that goes all the way up the wall and then we're starting to get a little bit more depth so we're coming two layers out now. I've packed away loads of our shoes these are the only shoes and then a couple of them upstairs in our offices that we have. This is still too many essentially we're meant to be moving next week. We don't have a date yet <laughs> but in my other video, I'm not going to go into it too much here, in my other video that I, I'm doing for you guys, I give you like all the detail of, of what's happened during this whole buying and selling process, so you can go and catch up over there. But essentially we are aiming to be moving next week. It's currently Tuesday the 11th of October and we've got a date of the 21st as a rough estimate, which is 10 days away. So I basically was like, okay, we need to start packing properly because um, I don't want to get to a point where we're really rushed and... I don't know we haven't packed things properly and like optimally that is my thing that I'm trying to do is to not bring down loads of crap with us and not have to bring down more than we need and I don't want anything to be broken or anything like that so I've spent the last two hours in here repacking packing new things I know where I'm at in this room now which is really nice so the kitchen hasn't been touched in terms of packing like at all but I did do a massive kitchen deep clean and clear out probably about six months ago now um, where I got rid of loads of things, gave them to charity, um, like, like things like mugs. I didn't feel like we needed to do the packing of the kitchen immediately, but actually I went through the cupboards yesterday and had a look and saw that there's just so much stuff that we don't use day to day that we do use, like I don't want to get rid of, it's things like our slow cookers, um, we've got blenders, rice cookers and things like my cake mixer that I can start to put away because either we won't use them in the next week or we won't have to use them in the next week it's really not that deep so we're going to be able to put them away i'm going to get rid of a lot of the glassware that we've got i actually need to think of a way to pack all of that you can buy boxes where you can they've got like the slots in and you can pack them away i think you can actually even pick them up from ikea so i might i might have to do a little ikea trip and see if i can pick up some of them boxes i don't know if you've got to pay for them you probably do. I would be happy to pay for them because that would be a really good way to transport them. If you do have any tips of how to pack glassware, please do put them in the comments. I'm essentially going to concentrate on the kitchen today. That's essentially all I'm doing for the next probably two and a bit hours. So that'll keep me occupied. Mm -hmm. trances, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life. You like to drive, get down dirty. You act like the bad guy. You want some love, be dark when you feel like calling a midnight. Mm, you got the best of me. You got me losing sleep. Yeah. I didn't hope for, baby. I was hoping.
Good morning guys, it's 10 o'clock. I'm currently at Mercedes car garage. My car is due a service and I'm due to get another car as like a drive around car for the day. So I'm excited to see what that's gonna be. So let's go and see what they're gonna give me. So guys, the car they've given me is this silver Acast Mercedes, which is basically the same as my car, but mine's white. Oh, it's nice knowing that it's actually the same car because last time I got this huge C-Class thing and it was so intimidating. Yeah, look. Hello. Oh my God. Can we just, that was so stressful. I am not used to driving an automatic and every time I get in one, I think, oh yeah, I've done this before, but I always end up doing something wrong. So I came to the bottom of a hill, put the car into park. I don't know this system enough. So I thought, oh, I can just switch it into drive and then go. The red light turns green. It's time for me to go and the car just won't move. It won't do anything on the screen. It's saying, depress the brake and something and I just couldn't process in that moment because I was panicking and I'm like putting my hand up to the driver behind like I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm trying to figure it all out oh I now understand why people don't keep their cool in stressful situations because that wasn't even that deep and I was stressed but the guy behind he bibbed me and then like I think he could see I was like pressing the brake and like doing all these things and I was panicking so he was like don't worry in his window he's like don't worry it went red and then I figured out I basically turned the car off and turned it back on. I've just reset it like a computer. Have you tried to turn it on and off? That was basically me. But anyway, we're here now. I spoke about this a little bit on my stories the other day on my Instagram. I don't want to jinx anything, so I haven't said anything thus far. I'm speaking like I'm in a speaking like I'm in a Charles Dickens book. <laughs> but I haven't said anything up until now because I haven't wanted to jinx it but I know that you've been in the dark about what's going on I'm going to give you a really quick overview of where we're at made an offer on a house that we're buying about two months in it got a little bit sticky and we basically thought we were going to have to break the chain in order to successfully sell our house and hopefully move into our one in the future it's not actually ended up being like that something has worked out where we haven't had to break the chain more details will come into the video that I'm filming alongside this the whole process I'm filming alongside but basically we haven't had to do that we've got our mortgage offer we've signed all of our our forms our contracts our legal stuff we've gotten surveys we've gotten checks on the house everything we're now at a point where we are good to go the people buying our house are good to go and most of the people in the chain our chain is a chain of six people now i know that five out of six people in the chain are really 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 super keen for this to just go ahead as quickly as possible and i know that the person at the bottom most likely is as well but because of the type of mortgage it is it's taken a little bit longer and it's holding things up and there's just so much anxiety like even when I'm speaking about it now I can feel like my chest is tightening a little bit and it's not it's really not that deep like at the end of the day it's going to get sorted god willing touch wood it will get sorted but it's just very stressful it's just that everything's out of your hands like you can't do anything about it that's what stresses me out I'm very much a person that likes to be in control if I can be in control of something I like to be I like to think of all exit strategies and scenarios how we can be getting the best and most optimum for our time and money and all that sort of stuff but when something is out of my control I find it really difficult to just like let go and let be I'm trying to work on that but yeah it's been a process we are really hoping to be moved in in the next two weeks touch wood that that will happen but yeah just keep us in your thoughts and prayers guys because it's been a long slog yeah if you've got any questions in particular things that you want me to cover in a video then put them down below i'm filming a video alongside this where i've basically filmed all of our like reactions and different stages of the video i was starting to do that at the beginning you'll remember and then i just thought actually i don't know how open i need to be with this whole journey just yet so like, we didn't know how smoothly things were going to go and stuff so i thought i'll just film it all still but i'll keep it for us until um, I can put it all together as like one big video for you guys to just kind of like indulge in one go and it will make much more sense that way than every week we're here, we're there, you know.
I think this is one of those um, those crackle wick candle wicks. The candle itself is by Woodwick. It smells so good. I'm so tempted to get this, but I have so many candles and we're moving. But I'm almost tempted to get this. It's £12.50. Some really cute ones here as well. Dance in the rain. These would make really nice gifts. They have a very slight smell. And look for the rainbow. Be nice to have on your desk or something at work. And this last one that says create your sunshine we're also in need of a new pan i think i'm gonna leave this until we move because i want to treat us to like a really nice set but i always spot these and think they look really really good but i need to do my research on like what will actually last i love this it's gorgeous texture and this this is really nice it's faux but i really love the vase it comes in i'm gonna do a sniff test a live sniff test that smells so good Let's get spooky. Cider tasting. It's berry and cedar. I never know how to say that. Cedar or cider? We are continuing to pack up the house. We also need to now go through the garage. Actually, you'll remember in a vlog that we did kind of do the garage before. We got rid of loads of stuff. I took loads to charity shops, which is really good but we need i need to go through my shelves i've got so many tools on my shelves i also need to figure out where i can donate paint to see i can find local recycling facilities that will take the paint but i don't want to recycle it there's nothing wrong with the paint it's pretty much brand new i'll figure that out later let's go and make a start on the garage rob is boxing up some boxes for us rob's putting together some boxes for us so that we can just get started so Rob has cleared this walkway for us. We can bring some stuff out because I'm probably likely going to need a lot more room to pack than this. So we'll probably drag all of this out. And then as we get into the garage, we've actually got two shelves of paint here. So this is what I mean. Like I don't want to just recycle it. There's no need for that to be, for any of it to be re recycled. It just needs a new home. I'm not going to get rid of all of it because some of them are like my essentials like I love some of my French Chic paints and like my primers and top coats and stuff so I'm going to be trying to keep some stuff that we will use in the new house but I don't need all of it. Yeah we've just got boxes and boxes of stuff that need to be boxed up again but I want to do them in a kind of strategic way so that if we need something when we move into the house we know where it is and all the similar items are grouped together do you think we should do that it's quite loosely grouped already I think yeah it is mostly and then we've got all of our main tools which have already got boxes but then again rather than having to pick up like 20 different tools it'd be easier if we just had to pick up like three or four boxes <laughs> safe to say I am a works addict look at all my charges and batteries there's actually not all of them I've got two more batteries and a charger here that's my um, AI drill I've got some more works tools at the bottom and then I've packed away my miscellaneous tools works tools and works tools and I have labeled all of the boxes so I know exactly what's in there Oh, so much organisation, I love it. Rob's just gone, he's left us for a second. He's gone to pick up some more of these boxes. They're so sturdy. Whereas these ones I got for free from the shops are good, but they're a little bit better. <laughs> what on earth? Look how Rob has sellotaped this box. Is that a joke? God, but yeah, these boxes just are very good for like packing clothes and light things not necessarily like expensive, fragile or very heavy things. We've cleared 
or three shelves. At the bottom I've got this three piece toolbox kit um, that I've just got like crafty bits in so they can stay as they are or actually I might put them in a box but they don't need to be looked into along with some colouring pencils <laughs> and then I've got a box of miscellaneous that just needs to be tidied up and tetris and then actually these boxes will probably be fine if I can just sort them out a little bit and I can sellotape them closed and then I've got a Stanley box here a box of random screws and tapes and stuff and then I've just got bits and bobs everywhere and then there's the paints but what I wanted to show you was I buy these Stanley boxes um, so I've got this one here that's got all of our screws and nails in which I always take everywhere with me on all of my projects and then I've got this tool bag style one which you can fill with stuff so I usually use this on a day-to-day -day DIY so like when I know the main stuff that I want in here and I carry this around with me on my project and then on this side I've also got another one which has got um, some other miscellaneous tools that I will use day to day on projects. But if I were to buy some more of these sort masters, you can stack them like that. Same thing with these fat, fat maxes, you can stack them on each other. Hello, hello. It's about two hours later since I last spoke to you. We've got a full empty shelf. Honestly, it's taken so much longer than you think. Uh, Rob had to go to his mum and dad's house to pick up some more boxes, so we've got another few down there and I think he's got more in his car this is what we're looking like I feel really good about this to be honest so all tools in these boxes I'm leaving them all undone just because I need to keep going back and like popping things in them I'm not filling them up too much and then we've got I'm going to leave this out as our general toolkit for the next like couple of weeks in case we need stuff there's a hammer a drill some batteries um a electric screwdriver and yeah this is what we look like to get that one down by the way if you want to know these are from a company called von haus v-o-n-h-a-u-s i don't know what they're called but if you go into their like menu section on the website it's under like garage or garden or something like that we've had these for probably nearly four Since years we, now these are one of the first things we've got when we moved in yeah right? probably three to four years now and they've done really really well they're really lightweight easy to put together but when i say lightweight they're still really durable so easy to take down as you just saw so now what we're going to do is these are all the same length piece and then we've got all of these at the same length piece and type so we're going to sellotape them together. We also need to take the pergola lights down. Yeah, that's going to be fun. But they're on, they're on hooks though. Oh yeah. So let's see. That's why I put them on hooks. If it was me doing this, I would just chuck everything in the big box that I see and just work it out when I get there. Mmm. <laughs> this is so nice. Do you reckon the small amount of veg in a pot noodle count is one of your five a day? Unfortunately not. So they're all of the actual shelves and then they're the two sets of the iron sides and then this is where they used to live remember how big they were they took up that whole section yeah i think it's a better idea that we flat pack them a little longer than a few minutes later that is what it is looking like so now i'm going to take all these boxes because we've packed pretty much everything away i'm happy with what's in them i'm going to start to stack them all underneath here and under there so that when it comes to moving day um, we're going to be able to just, yeah, you know, crack on with it. So let's do that now. What? You didn't get me one. Shut up, I asked you for Are time. you joking? That's so rude. I'm not doing it. <laughs> It is so cold right now. 
but I'm finished. We are finished. So we've put all the boxes at the back, as you can see, boxes, 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 boxes. We've got our fire lantern. I forget what th those things are called in the corner. Anything that's tall is standing in the corner. I've got so much leftover molding and useful wood, which I'm not going to get rid of. I've sellotaped it all together, as you can see, and stood it up so it can be transported because we will definitely find a use for that. When we move, we've got our umbrella parasol thing cushions which i don't know what to do about these other than the fact that we're going to have to wrap them most likely wrap them and then just transport them as they are because they're just far too big like you can't flat pack them you can't maybe we could try and squish them into some boxes i don't know but they're there for now i need to go through this suitcase and where's the other suitcase and this suitcase i packed them weeks and weeks ago i have a feeling they're just full of cushions pillows and um like what do you call these things what are these called? They keep you warm. Blankets. There we go. Come on, Shadow. <laughs> I need to go through them and just double check and um, repack them because I feel like the suitcases can be used for something a little bit more helpful than that. We've got Rob's uni and the accessories. The barbecue is here. I've emptied the tray underneath, so it's, you know, good to go. I'm hoping that we can transport it as it is, but if we need to disassemble it, then we're probably not going to because I don't know how to. <laughs> then we've got all of my work tools that are just too long to fit so my rulers my traps my all of my tables i've left this out this is a wheelie a dolly trolley and um, this might be helpful when we're transporting boxes to the van and stuff um, because obviously it's easier to move stuff about heavier weight on the wheels things like this um i do need to go through this and you know sort this out but i just haven't haven't yet and then we've got all of our paints and you know just bits and bobs so just bits and bobs everywhere that is it as it stands um really really proud of the progress we've made today i did think we would probably get to this stage it's now six o'clock so we've been doing it for probably about what five to six hours the garage is done the shelves are dismantled we know what's in here um, tomorrow isn't a day of rest tomorrow is going to be a day where we're going to go into the house now and book a slot for the tip because you have to do that in our area anyway we need to book a time slot that we can go to the tip to dump stuff things that are non-reusable non-recyclable and are not going to do one in a charity shop or on facebook marketplace let's go into the loft we've got loads of christmas decorations up there so we need to bring down the christmas boxes oh and then tomorrow we need to go to our uh, storage unit so i pay for a storage unit every single month because we just have too much stuff and we've got some bits in there they're quite big bits and bits that are definitely going to come to the new house mm, so how are we going to do that i'd rather get them out sooner rather than later but also that means they're going to have to live in the garage again and like make it even more full <laughs> I'm going to leave that all till tomorrow, I think. I'm going to have a good sleep. I think we're going to get Domino's to take away tonight. We're going to put on a film. There's a new series called The Watcher. I think it's called The Watcher on Netflix, which looks really good. It's a bit scary. Last night we went to the cinema and we watched Smile. Jump scares, definitely. It was actually a good film. The ending was... I don't want to say it was silly. It was, you know, I think it's hard to end horror films sometimes, but I didn't hate it. And then I also watched yesterday, I also watched Luckiest Girl Alive, which, oh my God, I was in floods of tears. Like, look at look at what the film's about first before you watch it, but like, it is such a good watch. And yeah, that's it. The next videos, I've got such a, such a mishmash of videos because I've been holding on to some videos that I can't release until we've moved house because we currently live in this house, so I don't necessarily want to put it on the internet, blah, 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 blah. So I've got a couple of videos and things that tie into like the whole moving process so i can't actually physically put them up yet even though i've got like four videos filmed so i'm trying to get through with these vlogs i've also got utility room makeover i know i did that in july i am rubbish when it comes to quickly editing my videos but i also have that coming along so if you're not subscribed already make sure you subscribe also guys i really would like you to tell me what you want to watch when it comes to my channel I think that it's definitely going to take its own form and structure when we move to the new house but I would love to know if you guys would be interested in things like I don't know like Q&A's like I don't know like if there's anything in particular that you want to watch like someone said the other day that they wanted me to do a holiday haul and I was like oh do people want fashion on this channel not necessarily fashion but like hauls because I can do a haul trust me now i can do a haul so yeah let me know if there's any suggestions pop them down below and um yeah i'm gonna stop blabbering now i'll see you in the next one take care bye Mwah.